for all of human history, birth has been sort of a lottery. What you have going on is chance, you have a, sort of a, a roll of the dice, and you don't have any kind of control. And sometimes fate is kind and sometimes it's cruel. What we're trying to do is to give people a better start. We're trying to give people a way to load those dice and to improve their odds. It still fascinates me and, uh, to think that all of the information is there in these two cells, a sperm and an egg, that gives rise to a human. And, and understanding the molecular genetics of that process is extremely exciting. We test the human embryo in a way that nobody else is able to do. We can look at the entire genome and we can form a complete picture of what is the child's genetic profile. We can think about it in the context of what most genetic testing laboratories do. They look at monogenic disease, and, and those are situations like cystic fibrosis, Huntington's disease that are caused by a mutation in a single gene. And with polygenic uh, disease, we have to look across the entire genome. I'm Elizabeth Carr. I'm the patient advocate here at Genomic Prediction, and I'm also the first IVF baby in the United States. So much has changed in the field of IVF. The opportunity even to look at genes in an embryo wasn't even on the radar screen when I was born. It's not lost on me that I now get to work with these brilliant minds and these cutting edge scientists who truly care about these families. To them, it's not a bunch of embryos, it's patients and families and improving the health of those families and screening out for some of the diseases that they themselves are battling. My history with diabetes, my grandfather had diabetes and, and I was diagnosed uh, actually during my PhD. It wasn't really in my head that maybe there would be a way to test for it in pre-implantation embryos until I met uh, our co-founders and one of the first examples they gave me was, was diabetes. My mom was first diagnosed with breast cancer, and then she was diagnosed with ovarian cancer. On her maternal side, we know that this goes back, where it's somewhere out in those thousands, thousands of genes, where there's this combination that just does what it does. My sister, she's right now undergoing her second cycle of IVF, and uh, she wants to avoid having the same genetic risks for her daughter, and I want to help her have a healthy baby. One of the most important aspects of what we do, is it involves genetic counseling. Genetic counselors are medical specialists. Uh, we focus on explaining genetic testing to couples and families. I think the most important role that I have is translating medical information into English so that they can better utilize this information to make medical decisions. There are many different heartbreaking or you know, difficult positions that couples find themselves in. It's a, it's a gift actually to be able to join people during that really emotional period and a lot of the work that we do together is discussing those issues and coming up with a plan and a plan that makes that family comfortable. Occasionally I get to speak to a patient and it's such a joy. Getting feedback from them is one of the most rewarding things in my career you know, getting an email, you know, that's saying like, thank you, or we're pregnant. I, I get very, we get very excited. They want the same thing that I want, the same thing that my family members want, the same thing that my friends want. They want a healthy family. They want a healthy baby. And they want, because they love this person that doesn't even exist yet, to give that person the best possible start. And that's such a pleasure to see that mirrored in another human being. In many ways, it doesn't surprise me at all that this is where we've landed, and I'm really excited to see where we go next.